the much more powerful and deeper self-despair and affection that may occur is a mother's yearning for her children. Losing a mother's children is indeed the harshest crime of all. Anyone may make a commitment. This is a story about rediscovering yourself and discovering your own love when everything seems to be lost. Join me today as we retell the story of On a Cold Night, He Found a Freezing Girl and Took Her Home. The next morning, she gave him a surprise. But before we dig down deep, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get updated whenever a new video is published. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. How it started. Adele was a beautiful woman in her youth when she shone brightly. She had a great deal of skill and a promising future. Her mother was ecstatic since she'd put in so much effort for her to be able to move forward of herself. As a result, Adele has developed into a skilled cardiologist. She was steadily advancing in her profession until she received some unexpected news. She soon found out she was pregnant with Jonas, her current boyfriend. They were both adults when they made the decision to be responsible for them. They recognised their romance would not succeed after only a few weeks of pregnancy. As a result, they decided to end things. They were buddies and delighted about any of this new chapter of their lives, as long as Jonas was there for the kid's life, meeting through all his responsibilities as a father. They were delighted to live after a beautiful wait. Wonderful child. They called her Beverly, and she was a lovely baby. Adele was overjoyed with her adorable kid and understood that this would be a portion of her profession that would keep her awake at night. However, a few days later, once the young girl had been in good condition, some difficulties emerged and the physicians evaluated her, concluding that she had degenerative heart problem. Adele was indeed an expert on the issue and understood precisely what she had been talking about. She realised her daughter's days were numbered, except she went into surgery while still healthy. Adele and Jonas, who were saddened by the situation, resolved to do anything and everything they can to ensure that their child could live in peace and solitude when she could be operated on. However, Adele's life will eventually be torn off by a catastrophe. She brought her to her tiny house and looked after her, pampering her like a mother would a daughter. They spent the first half terrified, yet overjoyed, to welcome their kid. Adele decided to take a stroll with her kid one day. The evening was lovely and filled with fresh air. She put it in the stroller and headed for a walk like any mother and daughter in the neighbouring park. Adele saw a situation and urgently shouted for emergency services when she saw a kid drowning. Her modern medicine training resurfaced and she wouldn't dare hesitate to assist that mum. She imagined how she might react if her daughter was in a similar scenario. Later on, the woman's daughter survived and the mother praised Adele warmly for her kindness. She turned back to the location where she'd left Beverly in the stroller during the emergency. But her heart froze when she could not locate her daughter anywhere and became frantic. She searched the area for her. She screamed her name. She begged passers-by for assistance, but no one listened to her desperate pleas. She had no idea what occurred next, since all she thought was anguish, pain over not being able to see her kid. Adele was hurt since she couldn't defend herself, since it was her responsibility. She was nowhere to be found. Her family was able to sway the police and the media. Beverly's disappearance in such a short time and in the fact that no one had seen anything was a mystery. During those first few nights, Adele was hopeful that they would always ring the cell phone and inform her that the young child had been found. Her anguish, however, became more significant and more overwhelming with each passing day. Nothing about Beverly Bright's abduction could be uncovered in 12 years, although Adele was with her the whole day, week, month and year. She had the impression that her essence was fading. But in this narrative, two storylines collide, and then they will meet Michael Bloom, an honest guy who fell madly in love with a lady named Aliane. Who is Aliane? He used to have a child, but it didn't seem to affect him for very long. He adored her and treated her like she's his own daughter, so they established a little family. But Natalie, the daughter, had a heart condition that prohibited her from participating in many outside activities. Natalie had an illness that appeared to be irreversible. She was a genius. She liked staying home, although she wanted to go outside and play with some of the other kids on occasion. Her situation rendered her an imposter. Mike and Aliane soon had a child, a brother to Natalie, whom she adored. Although this guy had little knowledge of women's life, and after a few years of dating, unusual habits began to emerge. Natalie was overprotected to the point of shouting. 
She spoke to herself and did strange things regularly, although she didn't have ascribed to the stress of caring about the little girl, which was not easy at all. She suffered from asthma episodes or chest tightening regularly. She also spent much of her time in the hospital. Everything has been difficult, but she hadn't anticipated seeing how their lives unfolded right next to her. Aliane had hit her breaking point and had abandoned Mike, leaving her all alone with Natalie, who had become increasingly ill as the days went by, as well as her little kid. Natalie's heart had reached its breaking point at the age of 12. She was in desperate need of a transplant. Mike was told that a doctor in the field had been a specialist, but it was difficult for her to care for the children, but she was the most excellent choice for his kid, so it was worth considering. Adele Bright was that doctor. Just after losing her daughter, she returned to her job, even though she's not been the same ever since that. She lost her sparkle and purpose to live. Her suffering engulfed her for 12 years. She had the appearance of a living corpse. She cannot see girls as it reminds her of her own kid. As a result, she mainly caters to grown-ups. Adele sent some interest and compassion for the very first time in many years as she pondered on the man's suffering and desired to rescue the kid when he arrived, yelling around the office, demanding that she take good care of his daughter. She attended to him out of politeness, knowing that she might recommend him to another college, but she was curious by the girl's diagnosis. She froze when she saw him. It was the same diagnosis her daughter received when she was a baby. Then, seeing the date and age of the girl, her heart could not really resist but leap without the futile belief that she might have a child, and amidst her files, a little piece of paper dropped on her desk that altered everything about these two people's life. Uncovering the truth. That piece of material seemed to have been a picture of a girl with such a big smile as she looked at the camera. Her brown eyes were large, her dark hair was curly. Adele's body was immobilised since the girl was the kid who looked just like her. Mike hoped that Dr. Bright would be the one to cure his daughter, but he didn't grasp her astonishment and surprise upon seeing the child's picture, which she began to cry while smiling and then fainted. She screamed and said that the girl in the picture was her daughter as soon as she awoke. She called and declared that her kid was indeed the girl in the picture when she awoke. At Adele's mother's request, please give it to her, she was her kid. When the DNA samples matched and the investigation into the disappearance of Beverly Bright was reopened after 12 years with this new information, Mike was accused of kidnapping a little girl and began a whole experiment in which he fought to be found innocent using the most up-to-date data and clues. They uncovered everything surprising, as well as the solutions to 12 years of unresolved questions and uncertainties. How was the infant able to vanish without a trace? If she'd been alive, where had she been for so long? Mike's ex-wife, Aliane, used to have a history of domestic violence and had fled the home with her kid in her arms. The child died of pneumonia. It was that particular day she was out wandering when Adele and Beverly were in the same park. She stumbled upon and discovered a baby stroller with a child inside, as well as some inner turmoil. Aliane assumed she was dealing with her child and wanted to whisk her away. No one intervened because they all thought she was her mother. The child was hers. She was baffled. As a result, the first thing they did was check on her health. They discovered a match for her, and she had a risky procedure, which she thankfully survived. Adele was gradually integrated into Natalie's life after that. It was a series of tiny steps, bloody encounters, and shared moments. But for her, who had waited a long time to see if her kid was still alive, these were the high points of her life. Natalie also realised she was her mother. As a result, she would accept her and choose her to be part of her life. Adele was finally at ease. Mike's insistence on meeting her was a godsend because she'd never been able to ride in her office shouting. She would not have met or known that girl otherwise. And so, after so many years of agony and anguish, this mother and daughter reunited for the rest of their lives to meet and enjoy lovely moments. Mike was also always present in some way. They built a family with patches and paint loss but also a lot of joy. And that is all for today's video. Do you agree that a mother's love for her children is unconditional? And that every mother is willing to sacrifice everything and anything for her child? How do you see your mother after this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Before leaving, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get updated on our future content. With that being said, See you in the next one.